Hi, I'm Van, and you're watching Classic VHS Horror. In this video, I'm going to be sharing my thoughts on The Ring, the 1998 Japanese horror movie that gave us Sadako. Also known as Samara in the American remakes. Now let's get into this. In 1998's Ring is about a woman named Ryuko Asakawa, a reporter looking into the death of her niece and four of her friends. Eventually, her research leads her to a cabin that the friends are staying at, and here is where she finds a cursed videotape created by Sadako, the vengeful spirit of a girl murdered underneath this very cabin. Upon watching the tape, Ryuko is now in a race against time. Albeit a short one, if you don't beat the curse within seven days, Sadako comes to kill you, and luckily for her, she evaded death like shit, maybe two days in? She made a copy of the tape for Ryuji, her ex who's helping her with the investigation. We then watch as the two uncover the tale of Sadako Yamamura, a girl with supernatural powers who was thrown down the well and left there to die. One thing I love about this movie is the character of Sadako. Compared to the horror I watch, which is certainly not supernatural ghost movies, this was a really nice change from brutal slashers. Which I love, don't get me wrong, but it changes nice sometimes. And I also thought she was a really interesting character with a backstory I want to learn more of. And thankfully we had a prequel movie birthday which delivers just that. Ryuko and her son Yuichi were also fun to watch. I genuinely cared about them. And though I knew Ryuko was in the clear since the moment she made Ryuji a copy of the tape, things were still tense because, well, Yuichi watched it too. So the little man's gonna get screwed over as well if they don't do something. I was on the fence about Ryuji, but I ended up disliking him at one point, when they had an argument about how maybe they'd all be better off dead. At the time, I was thinking, man, that's pretty harsh, even your son? That little boy would be better off dead? <laughs> yeah. And then at one point when he smacks her in the face, I get that in that moment it was like a, hey, get a hold of yourself thing, but it still seemed uncalled for. <laughs> And also, the thing with Yoichi and how he's like, eh, maybe we'd all be better off dead. I won't spoil anything, but that line is elaborated on in Spiral, so... All I'll say is, he's not saying, like, man, that little shit Yoichi, it'd be better if someone killed his ass. <laughs> the acting was great by everyone involved. I got nothing to complain about. And though I don't have any real opinions on Yoichi's performance, he didn't suck. Which is a plus for any movie with a kid as a prominent character. The effects were cool as well. This isn't a slasher or anything, and the deaths are really simple. But things like seeing Sadako's corpse fall apart or watching her crawl out of the TV looked really awesome. I will say though, this isn't a con. I didn't think this movie was the scariest people made it out to be. Maybe it's because I went into this with a clear understanding of the rules and how the curse works. And when you know the rules that the killer follows, you know not to worry during scenes where they try to make you feel something. I don't know, but it was still a lot of fun and I loved every second of it. In the end, I'd rate 1998's Ring a solid 9 out of 10. It's a great supernatural thriller that I think a lot of horror fans gotta check out. That's my thoughts on Ring. If you've seen this movie, I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. And if you like me and want to support what I do, consider becoming a channel member or a patron over on Patreon. Both grant exclusive perks like early access to videos. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.